And welcome back to French Field here in Kent. Our final score, 31 nothing. Bellevue over Kentwood. It's time to wrap up this broadcast for the Alderson's Awards West postgame show. For trophies, awards, t-shirts, and so much more, go to aldersons.net for their full catalog. Again, welcome back to French Field. Paul Beatty along with Heather Beatty. If you happen to be watching this later, this is uh, the recap of what happened here today. Most of everything happened in the first half. The second half ended up being uh, just kind of a Back and forth uh, between the, the 30s mostly. We had just one touchdown. It was 24 to nothing at the half. In the first half, Kentwood, or Bellevue, started with the ball, ended up punting it away. Kentwood would fumble it on the second possession. Bellevue would have it on the 25-yard line of Kentwood, and uh, Wang would run that in, and that would be uh, William Wang. He'd go in from six yards out. And Wiley Bryant with the extra point would make it 7 0, 439 to go. Uh, Kentwood would get the ball back starting on their own 20 uh, and then turn it over as uh, Bellevue would get it on their own 43 yard line. And they would get a 39 yard touchdown run from Ishan Daniels just inside the second quarter, 11 19 to go in the half. Extra point by Bryant again, good, 14 0 uh, at that point. Kentwood would get the ball back on their own 28, punt it away, and Bellevue again would have good field position with 8.56 to go in the second on their own 42-yard line. A uh, 11-yard touchdown run by Teets. That was actually Teets ran it in from the 6, and then there was a hold at the 1, pushed it back to the 11-yard line, and he ran it in from there on the next play. 8.04 to go. PAT good as 21 to nothing. Kentwood would get the ball again on their own 28. Then a punt blocked. Bellevue would get the ball on the nine yard line of Kentwood. A good defensive stand there by the Conks, but Wiley Bryant made him pay for it with a 24 yard field goal, and that made it 24 to nothing, and that's where it would be at the half. In the second half of action, uh, Kentwood. Would get the ball, they'd move it, they got sacked, they'd have to punt it away. Bellevue turned it over on downs. Uh, Another punt for Kent. Bellevue uh, then turned it back over, another punt for Kent. And finally, with just a minute 14 left to play, they took over on the 16-yard line with 4.15 to go. Bellevue did. They'd run five plays, and finally, they'd have to settle uh, with a pass, and they'd do that with the second quarterback, Lucas Rosori, finding Colin Miller in the left side of the end zone for the touchdown. Bryant would add the extra point, and that made it 31 to nothing. And that is our final. So Bellevue now 2-0 on the season, and Kentwood drops 2-0-2. Time now for our home team uh, MVP, uh, with the home team MVP, I'm going to go with uh, Ezekiel Salamulo, who played defensive tackle. He got some good pressure in. He's shut down the inside game uh, many times. Also played an uh, offensive line. Uh, did a pretty good job there as well. Uh, so Ezekiel will be my player of the game for the home team. The visiting team and the winners today, Bellevue. I'm going to the defense here. I could say, uh, yeah, we could pick out one of the running backs, but uh, Teets had a good game. Wang did. Chase Taylor did as well. Um, uh, Hogan Hansen uh, did. uh, But I liked what Tom Nash did today. So Tom Nash, uh, from in the trenches there, a couple of sacks at least, maybe more, and just was a presence there and caused havoc all game long. So Tom Nash for Bellevue will be my player of the game. And that will do it for not only this game, but for this week here on the Eli Sports Network. We will have uh, next week's schedule up uh, either today or tomorrow. You can take a look at that, see where we're going to be. We also, if you don't know, cover a lot of girls' soccer and volleyball, and we stretch our wings from Kent all the way down to uh, the southwest Washington area. Uh, down in the Collets and even Clark Counties at time 
all the way to down to Vancouver. So we're out and about. Check out who we have, when we have it. And, again, I know not everyone, you don't want to follow the rules, and it's all annoying, but we've had too many games canceled because of COVID outbreaks. We have a shortage of officials. We have a shortage of bus drivers. We're just trying to create opportunities to let kids play. Let's keep that as the first and foremost thought when we go to high school games. Appreciate your watching and subscription, and we'll catch you next time here on the Eli and the NFHS Networks. Have a great rest of your weekend.